Okay, what is going on everyone? Good evening and welcome to the Week in Preview pre-stream. <clears throat> the show will be starting shortly. Just got back home from uh, dinner with my parents. We went to this local seafood restaurant. And, uh, uh-oh. Oh, we got an echo. Very nice. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. But, uh, but yes. Local seafood restaurant. The food was delicious. I'm absolutely stuffed now. Uh, <clears throat> actually treated my parents out to dinner this week. We actually alternate. One week they pay, one week I pay. Uh, that way it keeps it fair. And, uh... So I came home, I had about 15 minutes to kill before I started the stream here, and so what I actually did was uh, GameStop. Last time that I had gone to GameStop, which was this past uh, Friday, to pick up Infamous Second Son, uh, I know the guy there, and he, he helped me out. He says, here, what I'll do is, since you don't have any reserves in the system, let me print out <clears throat> this list of upcoming games for the rest of the year on every console. So he did. He did Xbox One, uh, PlayStation 3... PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, and the Wii U. And, uh, so, you know, based off of these listings, I actually just went through my game release schedule calendar, which I have on my kitchen wall, and, uh, went through it all, you know, filling in the gaps as to what I would be playing, uh, for the next several months. And let me tell you something, there's not a lot of games coming out this year, e either, or that, or they don't have release dates yet. And, uh, <clears throat> seriously, <coughs> excuse me, uh, there's just, looking at the game release schedule, it's not a very solid one. It looks like every month there's maybe two, three major releases, if that. Some months don't even have that. They have, like, one to two releases, <coughs> you know, heading into the summer months. Now, keep in mind, we do have several episodic games that are, are going to be coming out, including The Wolf Among Us and The Walking Dead episode, or, uh, Season 2. Those will always be continuing, okay? And uh, I'm sure here or there we're going to have little independent releases that I'll be checking out. For example, Broken Age, whenever the second half of that comes out. Uh, <clears throat> Octodad. Deadliest Catch, which I've been waiting to come out on the PlayStation 4 for quite some time. Uh, and did not come out yet on the PlayStation 4, something like that. And, uh, you know, it, it does need to be said that the PlayStation 4, the Wii U, they do have a lot of indie titles on them that if, if, if push comes to shove and we're running out of content to do uh, during some of these months, I should be able to at least find some fun stuff to do. But unfortunately, uh, you know, the thing, the downfall here is that I'm not known for those games. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm not known for, you know, playing more independent games, games that no one's heard of. And the question is, are people going to come out and watch those games if I play them? Um, you know what I mean? Like, wow, you know, maybe you go over to Total Biscuit to hear about some, some indie game you never heard of or whatever. He has that whole series of what the WTF is where he kind of plays a game for a little bit and explains what to expect from it. You don't usually say, oh, I'm going to come to Phil's channel to see what the, the crazy, craziest, zaniest new game is out there I never heard of. <laughs> you know? And, uh... <clears throat> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen coming up in these next few months because there is just a lot of empty space, including when I come back from my house hunting in April... There's nothing, man. There's nothing. The only thing that was going to be coming out is Lego Lord, or I'm sorry, Lego The Hobbit, which I'll be doing co-op with John Rambo for a couple weeks. Um, and then there's only MMOs, like Elder Scrolls Online and Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn for consoles. But there's nothing until the end of the month. There's Amazing Spider-Man 2, which I will check out because if you remember, two years ago I checked out the Amazing Spider-Man uh, the game, and I loved it. I actually had, it was one of my favorite games of the year. I thought it was a really well done Spider-Man game. And, uh, you know, outside of that, I don't know what else is going to be going on. Seriously. What is going to be going on come, you know, the end of, you know, or mid to end of April and then May? There's really nothing going on at all. <clears throat> 
Nothing going on until the mid to late May. In mid to late May, we've got some good stuff. We've actually got, um, what the heck is it? What's the name of it? Hold on. Wolfenstein, The New Order. Looks like it could be pretty good. Watch Dogs, obviously, at the end of May. We've all been waiting for that one for 100 years. And Mario Kart 8. Uh, looks like we'll have one or two releases in June, one or two releases in July. That's what I mean. It looks like, for right now, it looks like these there's a lot of games that are in development, but no one's really come out and said, oh, you know, it's going to be out this month, and this, or even a time frame for a lot of this stuff. And I'm almost wondering, now that the new consoles are out, if come E3, you're going to get a shit ton of new games announced with release titles for this year. Seriously, because that's what it's almost seeming like. No one wants to announce anything till E3. So, you know, I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing my best to fill the time when we don't have major releases with entertaining content for you. There's still plenty of stuff people want me to play, such as Devil May Cry Three, Jack Two, um, Spider-Man: Web of Shadows, uh, the Final Fantasy X HD Collection, which I purchased. A lot of people are asking for Final Fantasy X. Um, there's a lot of content I could put out. But again, the question I have to pose is, is this stuff that people want to see? If I play through these games where people watch them, or is it going to be more of, I'll watch part one, and uh, okay, it's an old game, I don't want to watch this, and the next thing you know, I'm stuck in a 12-hour game that, you know, only people watch part one. You know, I'm more than willing to juggle different games and do different things, especially things outside the box, as long as people are going to, you know, watch and get hooked. That's the catch here. People will watch part one of anything. People will get part, watch part one of anything. But after that, that's it. <laughs> if that part doesn't hook them, that's it. They'll be gone. Their attention span is going elsewhere. <clears throat> and that's really what I'm facing right now is... There's a, a ton of stuff I would love to play, all right? A ton of stuff I would absolutely love to play, but I don't know if people are going to want to watch me play it. Let's put it that way. <clears throat> I've actually got a game sitting around that I've wanted to play for a long-ass time, and I never got to it. It's a good game by the name of No More Heroes 2. For the Wii. And after I played the No More Heroes HD re-release that came out for PlayStation 3 a few years back that was flawed. Remember, it was flawed. It didn't work properly with the PS Move. I liked the game. The only complaint I had was that the goddamn controls didn't work. And a lot of people said, oh man, you should have played it on the Wii. It didn't have those issues. And so, after liking the game, I actually went out and got No More Heroes 2. And I never played it. <clears throat> How about Resident Evil 4? HD, a game that I had, this original game on the GameCube, I played it for a little bit, but never really did much with it. It's basically the last Resident Evil in the mainstream series that played more like a classic Resident Evil, although it did change the series into a different kind of gameplay, over-the-shoulder third person. Um, <clears throat> but a lot of people like it, a lot of people don't. I get the feeling if I did play that, I you know there'd be a small core audience. But, you know, again, it's a long game. So are people going to hang in there and watch me play the whole game? So there's a lot of things that... I, another one. Oh, Bushy just brought up a really good point. Hitman HD Collection. I bought that a year ago. Came out a year ago. Hitman HD Collection. And I never even played any of the games there. That's a potential pick of a game that I've never played. You know, those original Hitman games. That could be interesting, right? They are very difficult, I heard. So it could be a very hit or miss. You know, me failing a lot. Who knows? Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that I've got that I've accumulated <clears throat> that I could do for downtime. But the question is, will it hook enough people? And obviously, you know, the, the, the oh, Ico too. I forgot about that one. Ico. I have Ico from the HD collection. Remember last year it was Ico and Shadow of the Colossus? I still have Ico that I never played. So what I think I need to do, I really seriously think I need to do this, is sit down and write down the, oh, God, oh, my God, God of War 2 HD. I never even played God of War 2, and I, I have the HD version on PS3. I need to sit down, and I need to seriously write out a list of the games that I have sitting here in front of me, waiting to be played, that I could play during all this downtime, because it's, it's approaching shortly. In fact, 
when I do start the week in preview, you're going to see this week there's going to be downtime later this week because it looks like I'm going to end a, uh, you know, some of the games that I was planning to play all week a little bit early. And there you go. There you go. So I'm not sure uh, what to do. And I think what I need to do is have this list so that I can kind of read them off and go through them and consider each one carefully and eliminate a few and get it narrowed down and then see what kind of feedback I get from the from the viewers and see what you guys want to see. The bottom line is, what I'm going to need to do eventually, you know, coming up here, is, is juggle multiple games. And I've already got Tales of Symphonia HD that I'm going to be honest, not many people are watching at all. And that's fine, but that's only fine if I have other projects I can do alongside it that are going to give me, you know, decent views. And that's the thing. I, the, when you have a project that's like a, 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 a game that's not mainstream, it's not a new release, it's not something everyone wants to see, you have to make sure that it's going to get a decent amount of, of, uh, of, of, a, of a viewership base so that I can play two, three games at once and, you know, it's it's still my normal business as usual. Not that because there's no new releases now, I'm going to have weeks of, of nothing. You know, I can't. It's a business. It operates. I'm planning on moving. I can't have, you know, months of no income because there's no freaking games out there. <clears throat> and coming up in April, as you guys know, I've now finished off the Fallout 3 Fridays that I was doing for a while. Now, I haven't worried about it these past few weeks because there have been so many new releases. I've needed that extra day to do the playthroughs of the new games. But what's going to be my new recurring Friday event? That could be something like Oblivion, for example. So there's a lot to think about. There's a lot to ponder about that I'm thinking in my head. You know, kind of thinking aloud to myself and uh, thinking that when I get back from my house hunting venture in April that it's time to start really solidifying some new games, new series, and things that I'm going to be working on to keep you guys interested rather than, oh, it's dead weeks and I'm just going to pull a game out of a hat for no fucking reason. You know what I mean? <clears throat> so, interesting. What has to go through my mind, the kind of things that I'm thinking about when, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, this, because a lot of people, you just sit down and play whatever, because you don't have an audience that you need to keep entertained. For me, it's more like, well, it's great, I'd love to play any game, you know, I enjoy gaming, but at the same time, I have to understand, I have to keep a audience retention, and I have to keep people entertained. <laughs> Again, it's a game like Tales of Symphonia, does it have a core audience? Yes, it does, it's a very small core audience, and I love, I like the game, I don't want to stop playing it, but I need to make sure that if I play it, I'm balancing that with something else that people are watching as well. That's the key to success. Diversification, so you can play those lesser-known, lesser-followed games because you're supporting yourself with all the other stuff you're doing. So yeah, there's a lot of things for me to consider. And I'm thinking about all of these things. And I'm thinking this week I'm going to play a new game. And I, I, I'm, de I'm debating between two. And I'm going to propose this in the weekend preview and I'm going to need your feedback. Okay? The bottom line is I'm going to need your feedback to know what you think is the better choice. <clears throat> Alright, so first of all, since we're going to get started now, uh, let's go ahead and do the you test. That is not the test. Damn it, Adam. Get off my freaking stream. That is not the test that I wanted to do. All right, we're going to do the audio sync test. Ready, everyone? All right, please let me know if the audio is synced in the stream chat. <clears throat> everyone probably thought that I don't have the Adam Sandler clip queued anymore. I do. <laughs> Everyone says it seems good. Okay. It's nicely synced. Okay, very good. It's nicely synced. 
<clears throat> okay, everyone. Well, I guess it's time to start the weekend preview then. We do have a lower viewer count tonight, but uh, I don't know if that's it because in particular there's something going on or uh, I don't know. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Let's go ahead and get the weekend preview started, shall we? All right. 